I make absolutely no guarantee on what this game is going to be. But when your cat looks like that, you know it might be a through and through disaster. Basically, there's a lot of windmills and a sail on the wrong part of the boat. But our first task is to catch one carp fish. It's a good thing they clarified because I wasn't sure what a carp was. Mm, my line has reached the bottom. I have a button here that doesn't seem to do anything. And this went to reel in just a little bit. That fish is upside down. So is this one. I don't know what this game is, but I think I'm going to enjoy it. We've caught our first coli. Fishes can only sell it dock. We're going to carry it around and love it like we would our child. <laughs> I like how when the fish go the opposite direction, they just turn upside down. They didn't bother to like flip the animation. They just put them upside down. The fish also don't seem to fight once I hook them, so it makes her a pretty easy battle. This is an oyster, believe it or not. So we'll go ahead and sell it. Uh, and in my fishing net is coli. We're going to go ahead and sell coli. Eventually, we'll find one carp fish. I can only imagine which one it actually is. This game isn't exactly going for photorealism. This is an octopus. After selling the octopus in disguise, we have $200, which we can use to buy better rope, which means we can go deeper, or we can buy better fishing rods to catch better fish. It's going to be a little while before we can afford any of that. Things in here are really expensive, but we did catch a new purple fish. Get in the boat. This is a scale ops. A scale ops. They're just smashing words together at this point. I am kind of interested in that weird little green fish down below. He's got nice vivid colors to him, and that means I want him. Okay, instead we'll get the psychedelic fish. This is a carp. Oh, that was so close to our chance for redemption. I can't move the boat once I've cast it, so we're just committed to whatever fish happens to be in the area. You need a bigger boat to go further. All right, well, let's cast out beyond where we can get to now. Maybe there's some better fish within our reach, like whatever this happy fish is. He really is very happy. <laughs> this is a lemon sale. As strange as this is, I'm really starting to enjoy this process. But I did manage to find my way to the fish menu, so the coli is the adorable green one that we've already caught. So we'll go ahead and take another one of those. We've caught the coli, let's take it into port and sell it. Now we need to catch one coli fish again. I feel like the tasks are just arbitrarily given. But when the weird game gives me orders, I can't help but follow them. This is an eel because it's long and slender. The coli is making its way back to me now. I'm pretty sure the fish just swim in like the same pattern every time. So as long as you memorize where they've been, they should come back there eventually. One more coli for us. We've amassed a colossal $600 so far, which is about a third of the money we need to buy anything at all. And in order to check the menu, uh, oh, I can actually go down from here. Only as deep as my line will go. But in order to check the fish, I need to like go back to the main menu and restart the day, which just adds to this amazing game's beautiful charm. The bream or brim, however it's pronounced, I believe is this fish because it has like a fin on its back, kind of like a dinosaur. Given that it just swam by this way, we're going to try and intercept it up here carefully. Okay, hopefully it makes it all the way to here. Eat my thing. You serious? Well, instead we caught one purple fish, also known as an octopus. I realize the fastest way to do this is probably just empty out the ocean. We'll catch everything else that could possibly be in the way, including the watermelon fish. That's a carp. And then we'll be left with only the fish we desire, which isn't a lemon sail. I can only imagine a big fish lurking down below at the bottom of this. I don't think we've caught one of these yet. This one is a hake, maybe a hockey. I wish it would at least incentivize me further to do this. Like we're just catching the fish it wants us to catch. We don't really get any extra money for it, at least not yet. Now I need to catch one of these again, which we already just caught, but the game doesn't remember that, which isn't a great surprise. Hopefully it was one of these. This is a brill. I don't really feel like going all the way back to the menu, so I'm just going to carry, uh, catch a few fish for now, and hopefully it's the one we need. I'm actually running out of fish to catch out there, so we're going to dump off this load. I'm committed to finding the deep fish. I'm pretty sure this blue one is the one we need. So once again, we'll just keep working our way through the list. Actually, we got it right away. I would eliminate every fish in associate to make this work. My next task is just to upgrade your line length to, to 15 and the 15 doesn't really fit in the box anymore. So we need to extend our rope. Size 10. That's going to cost $2,000 so I've got to catch 14 more fish. At least there's sort of a quick way of doing this. If I just cast right here into the bunch of fish, reel it up, I can sell it right away. Get in the boat and get out. And eventually, we'll be able to get bigger boats with speed, range, and capacity. I can only imagine the wonderful creations they've done up for this. So we'll drive an oil tanker, and that somehow is a bigger boat, and then a fishing boat, and then a better fishing boat. And the top boat is whatever this thing is. It has masts for sale and no sail. Wasn't this called something else earlier? Whatever the case, we're going to sell that $150 upgrade time. There's also some subtle things in this game you wouldn't really notice, like this text isn't quite centered. This one is, but we're going to buy this one. Now we're going deeper. Uh, I think in order to do that, I'm actually going to have to clear out the fish because I don't think I can go deeper with the current fish on. Oh, and I actually need rope size 
15 for the task, so I actually needed twice as much money. But once you clear the fish out of the way, I'm hoping we can go a little bit deeper. Or maybe not. I don't know what the point of upgrading the rope was at this point. I know, right? I'm just as shocked as you are. But we caught another eel. So maybe if we spend the 3,000 on a two-star fish rod, we can cast a little further. Plus it just looks cool. It's even got a green tip on it. We'll give it a cast. It's casting just the same amount. And I'm not sure we're actually going down at all either. Upgrade rod to catch bigger fishes. This is an upgraded rod. I am really confused as to how to make this work. So I can reel it up and I can reel it down, but only to that far. So I'm not sure uh, we need a bigger thing for him anyway. Uh, I might have bought the next rod and not selected it because it doesn't auto equip because of course it wouldn't. This time we sailed right into its mouth. This is a Gabby, $500. Now we're getting somewhere. So we just need more of those fishes and we still need a lot more depth. I feel like we didn't gain anything. Look at that fish. There's some neat looking fish down there we gotta grab. If we can catch $500 fish though, we're gonna stack up the money quick and then the next one should be worth even more. I've depopulated many of the surface level fish and that should hopefully mean we can get some of these lower ones and I literally think they don't respawn until I restart the day. I was hoping to catch this yellow one over here because it seems to get up there but I've gotta move further to the left I think. Oh, maybe we're gonna get it. We got it. What is this thing? That's a John Dory. It's only worth $50. Can I throw you out? It doesn't give me a choice to remove the fish. Oh, we were so close to the lime green fish. I thought we were going to have that one. There's such cool fish just beyond my fingertips. So let's buy the better rope so we can go a little deeper. And a new blue boat so we can sail a little further. The first thing I'm going to do is try and cast my line deeper right at the beginning though because I can just make a bunch of money into selling these fish and we can go deep for whatever's lurking down below. Plus I need to catch another lemon sail fish and I'm sure that's got to be one of these. We're able to reel down another 6 inches. We're so close to new fish. Actually the red one swooped up so uh, we can actually catch one of these. This is a pike. It's only $50. When in doubt, go further out. I'm at maximum distance from my new blue boat. And this boat can also hold more fish so I can spend more time out here searching for new fish. We got a lime green one. Can't wait to see what this is. Hopefully it's worth a thousand. This is a dace, $500. I did hook another one of these. I believe this is another $500 fish. So that's worth 10 little ones. There's still some really cool, really big fish down below. Another $500 fish. I'm getting way too excited for those. So we're going to sell 9 fish. We don't get to know how much it is, but it was just about $2,000. The fish I wanted was this red one. The burns are on really quickly. It looks like this other one, but this is a brand new fish. It looks like a boomerang. This is Barb. Barb's going to get in the boat where we're going to sell it for profit. I think if I'm sitting here, that dark blue fish might actually be able to bite my hook. I just need to get back down there. I was wrong. It just sailed right past. So let's buy size 20 rope and a much bigger boat so we can see a little bit further out there. This is fun. The boat's so big that I can't actually see the water or the fish in it anymore, so I get to guess where I'm casting. That'll be fine though, because we're reaching a new layer of water with new fish. Plus this boat can hold up to 31 on board, so we'll really be able to stock up without needing to go in. I'm just trying to park my boat in a good spot where I can actually get down there without any obstructions. Come on, yeah, we got whatever this one is. I gotta get away from the other fish because they can seemingly eat each other. This one is a Doville. $500. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty soul crushing how little money that's worth. This crazy green one though, that's gotta be worth something. Look at it. It's the craziest fish we've ever seen. Katla, $500. Get in the boat. Okay, since we're on a yacht, we should be able to go way out into the deep water. There's gotta be some sharks out there. We're gonna take a random cast here and there because I need to know if there's anything in the water. Like here, we're finding weird fish quite shallowly. I know this is a $500 fish, so being out here deeper is the way to go. The upside down zombie fish is about to bite. I've always wanted one of these. We need a better rod. Better rod is actually only 15,000. Uh, with the fish we're catching out here, that's not going to be that hard to do. Look at the purple bottlenose fish. That one definitely ate my fish. That one's huge. Now we're getting somewhere. Pretty sure we're going to need an upgraded rod this far out. So if we have a low tier fish on our hook and we reel it through a higher tier fish, it will eat it and then we get no fish. Caught another pink crazy fish. I believe that's a $500 one. Drover's soul. Lots of good fish in this area. We're going to grab whatever we can real quick and just keep diving right here. That's another $500. Plus the green seaweed fish. Get in the boat. And this is the new fish for sure. We got to keep it away from bigger fish. This one will hopefully be worth $500 or more. $500 for a hussar. If we would actually fill our entire boat with $500 fish, it would be worth over $15,000 from a single load. I would prefer the cucumber fish, but we can't actually get that. We need to shift over left or right a little bit. 
Pretty sure these are all higher tier fish, so we might have to bring our 15 fish in for now and see the value. I think I finally found a quicker way of getting rid of some of these smaller annoying fish. If I just send them down deeper, a bigger fish will eat them and then I don't have to fill my boat with stupid fish anymore. Next we need to get one octopus fish. And I can't remember if we caught one of these before, but we got a dark blue lemia. We accidentally caught the fish we needed to do. We've also got a full boatload for the first time. So selling 31 fish will take us from $7,500 all the way up to $14,450. We actually don't have enough for the better rod. That's okay. I'm having a lot of fun catching these basic fish for hours on end. $15,000 rod number three. It's got stripes, so you know it means business. And out of everything we caught so far, we're still missing a one star. We've taken our new rod, we've sailed out as far as we could possibly go. Let's see if we can find some of those tier 3 fish. I know there's some really cool fish down here. That's definitely not one of them, but that one would be good. Or this one. When they look like dinosaurs, you know they're going to be valuable. I want to actually feed this to different fish if I can, because I don't want the garbage fish. Come on. Yeah, we got the dinosaur fish. This should be a tier 3, and hopefully it's worth a fortune. This is a shad, and Chad is going to sell for 1,000, so we need to catch a whole bunch of those. I accidentally just dove right on top of the spiky dolphin fish. This is platy, $1,000. I'll take those all day long. And we caught a purple missile fish. This might actually be the end of the tier 1 fish. It did look like that. It sure is. That's the flounder. You need a super upgraded boat, rod, and line to catch it, but it's worth 50 Makes me really feel like it was worth the investment to make it all the way out here. The zombie fish is coming back for us. We finally got it. This is called a mana fish. It's also worth a thousand. I want to sell these seven fish we have already just to see the average price. That's actually pretty good. $4,100 to seven fish I won't complain about. There are different characters you can buy for 3000 We get a 10% discount on this buy. Like yourselves, I don't know what this means. So we're going to try that and hopefully that has some effect somewhere. So far I've noticed no difference. We are going to reel up a green fish though. Do we get more money for fish? We do. We get extra 10% money for every fish we catch. So basically you need to invest a lot to make an extra 10, 20, the maximum is 30%. Curiously, I've also upgraded to the deepest line I can afford and we only go this deep. There's still bigger fish down below so I don't know how to get them. I can only assume they're teasing you now and they're shallower later so we need a bigger boat. Which means we need to put a lot of these into our boat. But at least the chads of the world are worth 1100 now. So every 10 we basically get the 11th free. There are also other maps I've completely forgotten about. Some of these are actually quite cheap. So if you want to go here, maybe there's actually better fish easier. That actually makes a lot of sense in my brain. So we're going to go offload these nine idiots and buy a new map. 16,100 before this load of fish, 20,720. I kind of feel like the upgrades are important in this game. Plus this just looks nice, so we're going to save up another five grand. This wasn't exactly the fish I wanted, but it is the fish I will accept. One $25,000 map selected. So let's give it a cast and hopefully find a whole bunch of new fish and so far it looks rather exactly the same. So far it seems like we just paid a lot of money for a cosmetic feature that I really really didn't want. There doesn't seem to be much difference down here. So a bigger boat must be the key to it all. To be extra sure this map isn't any different I've sailed out as far as we could possibly go and things look just the same. I've even dove right back onto the fish that we often dive onto. But we have managed to catch a lot of the rare deep valuable fish so we got that to be thankful for. And overall we actually did catch the majority of the fish. The rest of them are currently out of reach and as far as the four stars are concerned there's only three of them that exist. And they're always just down deep a little bit out of reach. But we'll get them eventually.